can hear raindrops step dancing. My lovelies, welcome back to the channel. As you know, it's your girl Shawi, and in today's vlog, I'll be heading to Mandeville because I need to get some injections in my back, uh huh, or wherever they're gonna put it. The last time I did get it, a few in my back and mostly the rest in my legs so we'll see where i'm at now to see how many more i need to get and stuff like that but for the most part um i'm improving i've had good days and bad days but i i mostly have good days mostly have good days because when the days are good they're pretty good like for example this morning i'm actually having a good morning so that's good i'm able to be vlogging and stuff like that i love when i can get up and actually vlog because uh, I just finished off another vlog, by the way, I was editing and stuff and I just said, you know what, I'm going to start up this vlog, which is what I'm doing right now. And yeah, as I said, I'm going to take you guys in Mandeville with me. I'll probably do a get ready with me or, you know, you'll see what I have in store for you guys. So please remember to like up the video, subscribe if you are not already subscribed and comment down below. All right, remember, I want to do a Q&A, so please comment some questions down below because I want to do an updated Q&A on this channel, all right? So, stay tuned. All right, so this is the dress of the day, this nice summer dress, and it's the first time I'll be wearing it, and thank God it's still fitting because I've gained a few pounds, and I'll be wearing my River Island bag. These accessories I just took from my sister's room, Yes, she's my sister, so yeah, leave me alone. It's my sister. Let her cuss me. And yeah, these as well. And uh, quite a few earrings, but I am not sure which ones I'm going to wear as yet. Obviously, she hasn't worn this ring as yet, so I'll be wearing those for her today. And yeah, I do have my chain here. I'll wear this one or the one with the Jamaica sign. I'm not wearing any watch today. And of course, I'll be wearing these slippers. Yes, these nice strapped up slippers. So pretty much I'm almost ready to hit the road, guys. I'm about to do my makeup. When I say do my makeup, I mean like apply a little bit of powder and some lip gloss, that that kind of thing, right? Because today is pretty much a hot day, so it's not like you want to go, go out there with your face baked or anything like that. And, you know, I just want to keep it light because I think I could go without makeup either way, but... I just want to look extra cute because this dress, I, I'm just feeling the dress to be honest. And this is the only time I really get to go out these days because otherwise I'm pretty much at home. So let me doll up. Let, let this girl doll up for today. All right. I have an appointment at three o'clock to be exact. And it's actually about one o'clock now, but um, the drive is on the way. So let me hurry and get into it. But before I get, I get into it, guys, I got this little goodie bag the other day. It's Bath and Body Works. And I got some travel size stuff in there. So I got this pink pineapple sunrise body splash and it really smells good. I've used it. It's flowery. Yeah, very flowery. You know, according to the dressing and all of that, um, once you smell me, you're gonna know some smell really good. For you see me how me look, me smell good too. I, I'm using this as my body splash and I use teas, um, Victoria Secret. That of Susan, I'm going to go spray some of that a while ago. But there are two of these. They're travel size, as I said. And um, I got some lotion as well. This is a thousand wishes body lotion. Two of them in there. And some hand creams. Yeah, so I think about four of them in there. Hand cream. Bubbly. Let me tell you the name of it. Bubbly Rose. And Bahamas Passion Fruit. Yeah, so, yeah, I have good people in my life. Nice little travel bag there, travel size stuff. So let me get into beating my makeup, beating this face. Girl wants to look cute, all right. So I'm going to start off by using MAC. Right, so, dab, 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 they say. Not using too much, guys. And, um... As I said, the appointment is at 3 o'clock, so let me try and hurry because the person is on the way. And I don't want anybody to come and sit and wait for me because sometimes it really takes long for ready. Susanna always accosts me about that. Susanna and my brother, then cuss about these good stuff. I probably start ready first and then I'm still the last to, to actually be finished. Yeah. I'm so happy to be back over here guys I'm so happy to be vlogging 
Oh, I hope today when I go to the doctor it will be um my last visit. Hopefully. I doubt it, but I'm just hoping for the the best, you know. I really want to get back to work. Yeah, no, I must take it easy and all of that, but you know. I mean, I'm not bored or anything at home, you know, because I really do find stuff to do at home, believe it or not. I I tend to read stuff on the internet or my books or no, I'm not gonna lie about any books. No books. <laughs> uh, but I do read and I go on TikTok a lot. And you know, if you're on TikTok, you will spend the whole day on TikTok and just I don't know. But I can see where people will live on TikTok and don't want to do anything. TikTok with Tony and Acroft, you know? That's the truth, people. If you are guilty of spending hours on TikTok, comment down below and let me know. Because as I say, I don't get that bored at home. That's the foundation. So I'm going to put a powder over this. My little powder here. So or I shouldn't use this one, you know. This is Fit Me. I want to use this. Yeah. Just to put over it. Mm -hmm. How is it looking? It's coming out nicely. Tell us, I love your camera, you know. See quality, right? Much better. What me not bait my face to the people. I'm not going to bait my face. Not at all. So I'm almost finished now. Is it looking okay, by the way? Is it looking okay? This? Alright. So that's that. I was gonna use some of the um what you call it this powder here the setting powder on it but I, I changed my mind that's too much that's gonna be too much for my face and we just want to keep it simple put something on my lip Um, in the background guys if you see that spacing over there I was explaining it in the other vlog I don't think I'd mentioned that I'm gonna put something else above those wall wall decor there yeah because the shelves they were over there and I'm gonna use something else I see I tell you, you know when I sit down at home and I just start getting all these bursts of idea. I just keep on changing stuff. So I pretty much need to get better so I can go to work and do other stuff instead of thinking of moving this and moving that. And, oh, oh my God. You kind of get the the picture, guys. So am I going to use anything over here? I think I look all right. I'm not putting anything else. That's it. My makeup is done. That is it for my makeup. I'm not gonna wear my hair up or anything it's because uh i wanted to do the makeup so uh and you know the updo would that it fit me though talk true talk to me nice wouldn't i think you that fit me ah i probably should keep it up oh. all right so i'm just gonna show you what i'm wearing now and then i'm gonna head out of here so okay guys as you can see i'm all ready now and i'm ready to hit the road i'm gonna give you a quick spin to show you my dress that that is my definition of a quick spin come a little bit closer all right so i won't be able to show you the slippers i did show you it before but i don't think i can lift my feet far enough for you to see but as you can see the dress it's not too long and it's not too short it cuts off just around about right here as you're seeing so i'm ready to hit the road now guys so let's go on the road
procedure. Actually, there's a procedure. If you will arrive, then I will show you what the injections are like or what getting the injections are actually like. So stay tuned. Session. I'm sorry I wasn't able to show you inside there. Um, I don't think I would have been comfortable because today was one of those rough days to be exact. Yeah, yeah, I didn't take it like a champ today, it was really painful and uh, tearful too. So, pretty much, I feel mash up right now. Your girl feels mash up, mash up, but 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 it's about um, as I say. I'm sore at the moment and um, once I, I go home I'll have to retire to bed, you know, get something to eat and retire to bed and um, tomorrow I'll continue to do the stretches that usually improves the, um, the soreness that is accompanied um, by do it, those injections but um, I'm hoping for the best. Um, yeah, this is how I usually look after the, the sessions, guys. It's not like uh, they bubbly or anything like that, but it's for the better. So I'm still positive that I will get better, but it takes time. It takes a lot of time. You have to be diligent and faithful with all of this. I mean, there are good days and bad days, but as I've said before, I mostly have good days, so I have to thank God for that. So at the moment I'm in the town, in my little town, and someone has gone to get me some KFC. I feel like some KFC, so um, the rain is coming down, so hopefully he'll get it um, soon enough so that we can, yeah, so, and this is what I like about this um, vlog camera, guys, I mean my phone, I'm able to switch between cameras easily, so front and back. Uh, um, but then I'd have to like press the button to start the the back camera if I was actually recording using the front camera and all of that. But it's not bad. I'm, I'm loving this. So um, it's I the next day to vlog. Uh, my phone actually rang out with me just now. And I had a restless night. As long as the night was, I didn't sleep because I was feeling so sore and you know. But for the most part, I think that I fell asleep because I can't tell the exact time. Nobody really knows what time I fall asleep. But I know at around 5.30 I was still um, scrolling on my phone because I just couldn't sleep. So, yeah, but as I said, my phone just rang and now it's um, a little bit after 8 o'clock. I was just about to get some good sleep, but I don't know, maybe I'll just have to get up, get up out of the bed, you know, when the phone will wait, ring and wake up. So maybe I'll just go and get some tea in the meantime, and we'll see how the rest of the day goes, because I have to do a, a lot of stretches, yeah, because the stretches, the stretches will help to improve all that soreness that I'll be having, or that I'm having. That really helps because I, I don't stay sore for long, you know. Because you get so many little injections, so naturally getting punctured, you're gonna feel it there, you know. So that's what I'm feeling. And it's directly into the muscles, so you know how that works. And it's not just one place, I got in my back, um, I got in my lower back, um, my bottom, my thighs. Yes, I got a couple in my legs as well. So it's quite a few of them that I got, as I said. And uh, yeah, the neck, I only got in one side, I didn't get thigh and the leg. Uh, there were so many places to inject, to be honest. So I can get so many injections in one session. It's like the medication, I can't go over certain dosage. So. Uh, max out on the dosage for the day, so um, yeah. So hopefully, I'll improve with this. You know, as I said, I do have better days, more good days than bad days. This is just actually what it's like when I usually get it, you know. 
make you sore for the first and second day or something like that. But by the third day, you're alright. Up and running again, like you never, nothing, you never get no injection. And then it improves the um, quality on a wall. You know, the pain level reduces drastically. Like sometimes you feel like your old self, like you want to take on the world, but you still have to, yeah, do things. Uh, that's know your limitations. Because I was asking, you know, because I, I gained a few pounds, I was asking about um, going to the gym and stuff. So, yes, while you can go, um, the exercises that you can take on, there are certain exercises that you just can't take on. And it's just minimal stuff that you can do. So, that it would be the safest choice because the options are not that wide for me. Because you know I can't lift weights and then stuff there and certain other exercises. I can't walk long distances. I can walk, you know, but not for very long. And yeah, so it makes it kind of difficult to really come up with an exercise routine like that. Um, yes, the stretches, I do the stretches and stuff, but I just have to be so careful when it comes to exercises. Because a lot of them are pretty much contraindicated with my, my condition. So. so, as soon as I get up, I'll do my stretches and uh, yeah. But so guys, I'm actually up now and um, I had my breakfast and I'm not feeling so bad right now. Uh, my son will be giving me a massage in a... Come here, Tyler, in a few. <laughs> come, you need to use a massage gun on me. Uh, come here, come here, come here, come here. And before I get into that, I bought this soap yesterday. It's a turmeric soap, face and body soap. And um, I usually see it on TikTok and all of this stuff. But uh, I just bought it because I wanted to support the young man who was selling it. While I was there wait, waiting um, to get the KFC, he was such a nice little man and convincing. Was complimenting me on my skin and all of that. And I was like, but if my skin's so pretty, so I don't need no 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 soap to um to maintain it. So yes, you want to maintain that skin, man. That skin is glowing, and this will make it glow more. So it's turmeric plus, and it has coconut in there and um, turmeric, which is the main ingredient. And I've been hearing people talking about it, so I think I have some dark spots under my eyes. So I think I may try it. I'm gonna try it. That's why I bought it. I paid five hundred dollars for it, and is how the bar actually looks so it says it's for dark spots and acne and um other let me see what it says and eczema so uh, let me see if it actually works for the dark spots yeah turmeric powder works for acne you know about turmeric soap yeah soap you don't call anybody acne. name man you know it's call nobody name over here yeah? all right my friend <laughs> I was going to say, well, let's put me in a trouble over here, you know, I'm going to put it on my plug in the trailer. <laughs> okay. So, as I told the people in that you're going to help me with my back this morning, because he does help with my back as well whenever I need to get the massage. So, just turn on the gun and I just need it at the price. I just need it at um, number one. Tyler, don't, don't make it go higher than one. You know, I can't manage it higher than one. Let me see the setting you have it on. One nine nine. Oh, it's one, right? Yeah. No, you have to take your time and look here. Don't don't get don't get silly with it today. You know how to do it, so right. So don't bother get hyped because you see the camera on. Just take your little time and help out your mommy. I where I should. But you're doing it exactly where you should. Okay. Because you're going to do it all the way down, so you move from side to side. Right, so. This actually feels good, by the way, when it's going on the little spots. Yeah, it feels good. It's the best thing for me. It's my favorite thing. It's my favorite thing right now, to be honest. And I'll use a heating pad when I'm, when I'm done with this. But I'm going to do some stretches as well. But I just want to improve the circulation to the areas first. Just to break it up you know because there's a little bit of stiffness so to speak mm. take your time 
If you like cats, comment down in the comments. <laughs> You're talking about their cat. I am gone. Um, when I say Pikachu, what the other black one missing? Oh, you didn't just I keep on changing it. Ah, you can never stick with one day. But name. By the way, tomorrow is um Tyler's graduation. So that time flies because I have a son who's going to go to high school. Can you imagine that? I mean, it's just like the other day I had him and then you know in fan school and then ah uh, come take time, no Tyler. You know you have to take time. Go go on the other. Go on the other um side. Why is air coming out of it? I don't know, that's what it's mean. Uh, it's like, how do you call it? It's crazy, my ears. Yeah, so from kindergarten or infant school and then to primary school, you know? And he's going to graduate, he's going to high school now. And sometimes I think about it, I'm like, he's just a, a little boy because he has so much of his childly ways. I can't imagine him in high school right now. Well, it kind of makes me fret sometimes. And I tell no lie. When I think about him, I think about him going to school with all of these big big boys and stuff like that. At times I get scared. Comment down below and tell me if you, you feel the same about your child going to high school at this stage. And sometimes when you look at the news, you watch the news and stuff like that, and you hear about what's going on in the schools, so it makes you a bit. Yes. Make me worry, me not tell no lie. It makes me nervous. Hopefully. Are you nervous to go to the high school or are you okay? You are? Mm. You'll be fine though. You'll be fine. <laughs> every school has violence. Go further down. Go go for not every school has um, yeah, sure. violence. They were already having class wars but right now. They were having um class war at Monroe? They look like they put shit up on the Oh really? Take your time, just take your time. You can't put too much pressure on it. I'm not putting in that much pressure. Ah, you're doing it perfectly. That's the level you need to keep it at and the pressure as well. Because you see guys with the machine, you know, you just have to keep it at a specific level. You can't, you can't um, press on it too much. When you think that you're doing the best there, you're actually aggravating the muscles. So there's actually a technique. Don't put it over the bone. You see an X there, that's, that's where the um, doctor marked because I needed to be injected there. So once you see the X there, yeah. Okay, but it's not so excellent. Yeah. Usually I do this line down, but I'm okay like this because I'm gonna stretch. I'm gonna stretch in a few. Please stop. You want to stop already after you start doing nothing yet? Okay, look a boy. Ooh, that feel good. <laughs> so I just got up and say I'm gonna use the soap on my face now. And um yeah, let's smell it. Smell like I don't know what it smells like, but I don't know if I describe it. it smell buttery, like shea butter. Yeah, that's what it smells to me. <clears throat> Remind me of this thing right here. It's sitting right in front of me, guys. No, 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 don't try this. I don't like how this work any at all. You see me come over here and put it on my teeth, but I want to wipe my teeth and all of that. Trust me, this causes so much sensitivity, and it does not feel good. I don't need any extra pain. It don't feel good. It's like when I do it, it's like, mm, ah, it irks me. Please, not bad. It don't make no sense. I mean, I'm just saying. That's what it does to me. So I'm going to to wash my face now. So why not turn on the tap? What going on? So oh, the valve not on. The valve is not on. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> Uh, oh no. Swap it up. Go on, let me sell. I wonder how long I must keep this on my face for. You never say. I just, just wash your face like regular people. I don't think you have to keep it on there and soak it for a period of time. I don't know. Tell me no people, I don't know. Is me washing it off now? Stay long enough. dry or just leave it to air dry uh, I think I'm gonna leave it to air dry yes yeah, so I'm about to try the dresses now guys so let me see how many I have here I don't think I want to try this one 
this one is um a bit too let me see a bit too brunchy i believe what do you think i don't think this, this will work for the occasion i i like this one because what's a dress code for a graduation by the way these days what's a dress code do you have to be like formal or semi-formal or casual you know this one but i'll be a green stuff may have here so and this uh this is an all-in-one like a jumpsuit so i'm gonna try and then i'll show you what it's like okay guys so don't don't go nowhere you know and tell me which one you like this yeah but by that time i'm gonna know so i don't do any variation and something by the time i'm gonna see this so yeah man let me stop the chatting and try all right guys so this is the first dress that's up what do you think about this one Tyler? it's perfect you're not even paying attention, you're looking at the game. I saw the dress, mom. It's perfect. I can even look at camera too. So when it's a perfect, how much how much would you give me for this one? 8.5. 8 Alright, what do you guys think? Ah I like it on my bottom here, but at the front it's a bit too too tight because the buttons are falling loose and you can see the, the split there. You can see under there and we don't want to show anything. And you can't see the bottom of this but it kind of have a slit at the side here it's a nice little dress and it's cotton it's like cotton material and everything very eerie and you know it's very hot right now and everything so it, it would be nice to wear but here i put on too much weight so and the belly mm -hmm. you know that way that's so i'm gonna try another one what do you guys think i feel like a mommy in this dress <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Oh, this is the all-in-one and Tyler you didn't button the back of it for me oh, you're so busy on the game how would you rate this one it's 8.5 it's only 8.5 you give this you don't like this one better than the first one yes baby brother 8.5 all right the bra will be showing but that can be corrected so what do you guys think about this and this is pretty airy too and very comfortable it's not too tight and you know um i can work on here so you know you wear appropriate stuff under here so can, you know the girl put on a weight and then thing they don't know how it go yeah i want comfortable now with clothes and then thing there all right comment down below and tell me what you think about this one so i'm only gonna try the other one i'm not gonna try all four Alright, so don't go nowhere. Please remember to like up the video. Come, yeah. Take your time, right? No, like it. Yeah, thank you. And subscribe if you are not already subscribed. You can share it out with a friend or a family. Or you know them look away as they share out the video, man. Share it out. Yeah. Alright, so this is the last dress that's up. What do you think about this one, guys? Um, What do you think, Tyler? What do you think? Oh, it's a 10. It's a 10, you're right. It's a 10. Yeah. Well, I like to wear the 18. Green! Green! I did try another green, but this is the one you like the best. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll see how it goes tomorrow when I do wear the dress. So you'll see which one I get to wear. But comment down below and tell me which one you prefer. And this one is a bit airy too, and you know. And it's not too long, not too short either. And I don't mind short. You don't want to look a certain way going to a graduation. But I like the sleeves. Look for the boy. Almost taller than the mommy. Go there. You almost taller than me. But either way. So you like this one for mommy. Alright, All right, so. Alright guys, thank you for stopping for this segment of the video. So see you in a bit. Okay. Well, see you in a bit. Every time I'm always at school, I always hinge. I always wait to work. But I'm not hinging or something. What is hinging? You do this. Oh, that, that's hinging. Oh, so you're hinging now. That's why you're not taller than me. Is that what you're saying? No, yeah. Exactly. Well. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so guys, we're coming to the end of the vlog, and I'm here trying to wrap up some editing and all of that. But, guys, before even all of that, I was. I hope the TV not too loud in my background, you know. I was scrolling through TikTok, and I saw a video of this young lady. Yeah, I saw the video. 
this young lady was asking her two year old daughter what kind of problem you have and the two year old year old daughter respond with Jada's new song. If you know the song you know it. We come in and we'll say it for you. And I was a bit shocked because I mean this is a little innocent girl, you know, and mommy is there recording it and for the world to see it. Obviously the child would have said it before because the fact that she recorded her while saying it, it means that she's repeated it before. And even if you never taught her anything like that and she's exposed to it, I believe you should just correct the child and not just put it on the internet like that. Cause and the person was really defending what the what she did by saying that the child doesn't know better and she just repeating all of that. But we get that. Yeah, she may not understand and surprisingly some some children are smarter than what you believe, but even so, take for example, she doesn't understand but what you're putting out there about your child. That's not the image you want to put out there. Not a video like that with the child answering like that. It's not, it doesn't look good, it don't sound good, it just sound off. A lot of people were bashing her in the comment section, you know. But she was clapping back to defend whatever she did. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. A lot of people said, remove this, no, remove this, this don't look good for your little baby. Don't expose a child like that, you know, with that kind of a content. But I guess people will do anything for views and likes, I believe. I don't know. But certain things, you not go post because when everything happen, you have to go put that on the internet. No, be selective. It's not everything that go put up there. No. You know them kind of weird, eh? Because I'm saying it's not like, um, not because you don't see certain things happening and camera doesn't mean that it's not happening, but it's what you choose to put out there. And I just chose to put what I think is, you know, appropriate. Because I don't share all aspects of my life over here. I just keep it at a certain level. I share what I feel comfortable sharing. And I won't be pressured by anybody to share stuff that I don't want to share, you know. But remember, guys, the um, comment section, please comment down below because I want to do the q and I still want to do the updated q and so you can get to know a little bit about me, a little bit more about me, right? So I think I'm going to close off the vlog here and I'm going to thank you for tuning in to this video. Hope you enjoyed watching this content. Like up the video, share it, or subscribe if you are not already subscribed. Until then, I'm your girl, shall we say? Peace out.